What the heck, Sydney? You were getting ready for the trip today, weren't you? Oh, Barbara. Well, I was packing. Is there something wrong? You're such a brazen person. Uh, why do you say that? Don't you get it? Having the daughter-in-law along ruins the family trip. A family trip. Right. That's right. Don't you remember your place as the daughter-in-law? I haven't forgotten. You're an outsider, so it's no fun having you around. Oh, I see. Honestly, I was against Theo marrying such an impertinent woman. <sighs> and to think you haven't quit your job. You should be a full-time housewife and support your husband. <sighs> Poor Theo. He supports my decision to keep working. Besides, my job is important to me. Important? What are you talking about? What you should value most is the family. Yes, it is indeed, but so is my job. And isn't what you're saying a bit contradictory? What do you mean? You tell me to value the family, but then you say not to come on the family trip. Enough already. A daughter-in-law should serve the family but not get in the way. <sighs> Whatever. I'll think of a solution. A solution? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. Okay. Sydney! I've done something. Uh, what happened? Oh dear, what am I going to do? So, what is it? Oh no, really, what should I do? Barbara, please just tell me what you want to tell me. The dramatic act is annoying. Annoying? You, Sydney. Towards your husband's mother. So, what do you want to tell me? I know your true nature, so there's no need for this dramatic lead-up to the nagging. Just get to the point. You're really not cute at all! I don't care to be cute to someone who bullies me without trying to get along. Fine. I don't have much time anyway. Actually... I tore up and threw away your passport so you'll be staying home. Theo says he prefers if you stay home, too. You threw away my passport? It's your fault. Trying to brazenly join the family trip. You were planning to meet us at the airport, weren't you? But without a passport, you can't check in. I see. I don't quite understand what you're saying, but I should just go home, right? Exactly. Well then, it's goodbye forever. What? Nothing. I'll be going home now. Honey, do you have a moment? Yeah, what's up? Did you give my passport to your mom? What? No, I don't know anything about that. I wouldn't have your passport. Why are you asking? You took it with you, right? Well, yes. Otherwise, I couldn't board the plane. Did something happen? I just got a message from Barbara. She says she tore up my passport and threw it away, so I should stay home. What? What's that about? I have my passport with me, so there's no way she could have thrown it away. But she was so confident about it that I got a bit worried. I'll try to find out what's going on. Thanks. Where are you now? Aren't you with your parents? No, I'm away from them right now. I thought I should separate from them to give you an update. So I came to the restroom, and then your message came in. 
Uh, okay. Well, we both can't stay on the phone, but things are mostly going according to plan on my end. No issues on my end either. Understood. I'll head back now. Okay, take care. Take care of my sister. Sure. Safe flight. Thanks. You guys too. Sydney! I wonder if you're feeling lonely at home right about now. Hawaii is amazing! Because you didn't have your passport, we couldn't bring you along. But that turned out to be the right decision. <laughs> it's just me, Dan, and Theo. A family only affair. Trips are definitely the most enjoyable with this crew. The most relaxing. If it's supposed to be a family only affair, wouldn't it be unnatural without Katie? <laughs> Katie? She's not family like you. Even though she's Theo's sister? I won't have a misfit in my family. Ugh, really? I'm having such a good time, why bring her up? You speak harshly of your own daughter. And daughter? She's just a freeloader. Theo is enough for us. I think of us three, me, Dan, and Theo, as a family. I see. Anyway, aren't you jealous? Today I'm going to enjoy the beach to the fullest and then go shopping. Not really. I've been there many times before. <laughs> That's why people say you're not cute. You really are just a rude daughter-in-law with no manners. And when you say it like that, there's no room for argument. <laughs> if you're not going to reflect, then keep quiet. I don't need you to tell me that. Who do you think you are? Just a daughter-in-law, you know. Huh? What did you say? Ugh, talking to you just makes me sick. Such a waste of a Hawaii trip. It was you who contacted me. Okay, okay. Let's just end this here. <laughs> Mom was furious, honey. Why? Did I do something wrong? She wanted to boast about her family trip, but she felt like you got one over on her instead. As usual, you sure know how to provoke her. <laughs> <laughs> so you were watching? Well, she thinks I automatically side with her just because I'm her son. She made me read the conversation. Uh, sorry to cause trouble. <laughs> oh, by the way, about the passport that Mom said she threw away, she thought you were going to meet us at the airport. Seems like it. She saw me packing when she dropped by it unannounced. A different destination, but she misunderstood that I was joining the family trip. I saw something like a passport in her bag and checked it. It turned out, it was a fake passport. A fake? Well, not really a passport. Just a regular notepad, made to look like one. Huh? Remember the passport-like notepad you got from a friend before? Oh, that notepad? It does look like a real one, but anyone would realize it's fake if you open it, right? Usually, yeah, but mom's eyesight isn't great. She's starting to get farsighted, but refuses to admit it and doesn't wear glasses. She doesn't want to admit she's aging, but saying she tore it up and threw it away was a lie, huh? She thought it was real and probably felt it would be bad to chuck it in a bin. She secretly took the notepad she found during the surprise visit and even brought it to Hawaii. <laughs> <sighs> to go that far for harassment? And Dad didn't notice either, apparently. Huh? Even him? He usually wears reading glasses. But this time he came with regular sunglasses to look cool. <sighs> Both of them are silly together. 
<laughs> anyway, thanks for confirming. I was worried she might have thrown away someone else's passport or something. It looks like it's all good. Yeah. Oh, how's Katie doing? She's doing great. Moving into our new place the day before yesterday, and she's really happy to have her own space for the first time at 20. She seems genuinely excited. Also, when you get here, she's supposed to get her first phone ever, right? Yeah, that's right. She's been asking our parents for it for ages, but never got one. She's thrilled to be able to chat with friends. She's really looking forward to it. <laughs> that's good to hear. Being the eldest son, I've been overly pampered by mom and dad. I really caused her a lot of hardship. Tomorrow, I plan to go shopping around town with her while I'm here. In that case, tell her I don't mind spending money on her and she can buy whatever she likes. Okay, I'll let her know. I'll be making moves for my return home tomorrow, too. Got it. Sorry again about mom causing you trouble, like saying she threw away the passport. It was just an attempted stunt this time, but she really might do something like that. Well, yeah, but it's fine. I'm used to her antics. I never hand over an important passport. More importantly, we need to do something for Katie. Yeah, she's doing her best in a new environment. Let's support her for her future. Yeah, thanks, honey. Let's give it one last push. Let's go. Yeah. Theo, Dad and I have already arrived at the airport. You still can't make it here? Seems like you were on the phone with someone at the hotel. Is everything okay? Sorry, Mom. Actually, it's not. Oh, no. I've decided to take a different flight back. Why? There's a sudden work issue that came up. Work? I was on the phone with my boss. Apparently there's trouble with a client. I've been assigned to handle it. I can't go to the client immediately, but I need to communicate via phone and email. So, I'll be staying here for a while. But, during our family trip? Can't someone else handle it? I've been handling this particular client for a long time. Apparently, it has to be me. I see. So go ahead and check in. Are you really going to take a separate flight? Yeah, sorry, but that's how it has to be. I feel uneasy without you. I'm not really familiar with the procedures for boarding a plane. Dad knows and is with you, so you'll be fine without me. Well, that's true. Okay then, I'll get to work now. I wasn't sure if I'd need it, but bringing the laptop was the right call. I was thinking we could share memories of the trip on the flight back. It's really a shame to go separate ways at the last minute. It's work, so what can I do? But still, it's supposed to be a special family trip, you know. I understand, but this is important too. Really? If you say so, then... okay. Dad's there too, so it'll be fine. Yeah. Well then, take care and come back safely. Got it. You too, Mom. Honey, the plan was a huge success. I told Mom about the sudden work issue. She totally bought it without any suspicion. Mom and Dad are definitely on a plane that has already taken off. I'm also getting on a plane to Paris right after this. Nice. Everything's going as planned. Good job. Thanks. I'll be on an international flight for almost a whole day from now. I'll turn off my phone soon. Okay. Barbara will definitely try to contact me, so leave it to me. Sorry about that. Thanks. 
Mom's going to freak out, but just handle it smoothly. It's okay. I'm used to it. It's nothing new. <laughs> True. Take care. Hope you can rest well on the plane. Yeah, I'll let you know when I land. Got it. I'll do my job here, too. Thanks a lot. Well, talk to you later, then. Sydney, do you know where Theo is? I just checked my phone and got a crazy message from him. Since then, I've been calling but can't reach him. He hasn't read my messages either. Hey, Sydney, you reply to me now. Oh, you're later than I expected. Huh? I was expecting to hear from you sooner and was on edge. I got home tired and fell asleep right away. And I realized just now that my phone was off. You just saw the declaration of estrangement I was sent after you got on the plane. You know where he is, don't you? Yes, I do. Tell me quickly. He's on the plane. Oh. So he's on his way home, right? If I hang around the airport, I can see him. It's pointless. Why? What do you mean? We're being transferred overseas. Overseas assignment? We work for the same company and have talked about being in the international department, haven't we? The company is strengthening our overseas operations, so we've been ordered to go. I had no idea about this. Of course, we didn't tell you. Why not? I don't think deciding to live abroad is something you should keep from your family. Can't you guess why he declared estrangement? No, I can't. After all the hopes and doting, he wouldn't do something like turn against his parents. You probably influenced him somehow. Give me back my son. Oh boy. Seems like you haven't noticed other changes either. Huh? What changes? What about Katie? Huh? Come to think of it, haven't seen her since I came back. Wait, what's going on? Where did Katie go? Did you just notice? All of her stuff is gone. Wasn't it two small chests of drawers in the corner of the living room? Even though she lived in that house for 20 years, that's surprisingly little stuff, right? Just giving her two of them is generous enough for such a failure. Failure? What made you decide she's a failure anyway? She's slow at everything she does and her grades are nothing to write home about. The high school she attended is among the top in the state. Oh yeah? Well, it seems like you're not very familiar with school matters, so you probably didn't realize how difficult it is to get into that school. You're so annoying. She was just lucky. Even if it's a top school, her grades were probably lower compared to others. She consistently ranked in the top three of her class. What? You're kidding. No, I'm not. Especially in French. She's at a native speaker level. French? I've never heard she was learning French. I guess not. You just didn't know because you weren't interested in her. That's not true. Really? Then do you know how much she studied every day? Ugh, I wouldn't know that. That's the issue. You weren't interested in her. You didn't see her efforts or accomplishments. But she's a failure. No, she's not a failure. She's achieved everything through her own efforts. We didn't give her a room of her own. When did she manage to study? Apparently, she was going to the library until late every day. I thought she was hanging out with friends all the time. In that environment... Theo and I were afraid her talents might be wasted. 
With her consent, she'll be living with us overseas. Our assignment is in Paris. It's perfect for her, who is fluent in French. Wait, is she already there? Yes, she's also considering going to university here and is determined to work hard. What in the world? I understand you're shocked, but we're not finished yet. Ugh. There's one more thing. <gasps> what else could there possibly be? It's about your husband. What? What on earth is going on? Earlier, I checked Dan's room. His things are gone too. I don't know the details, but I've heard about him gradually moving things out. Where is he? I haven't been informed about that. <laughs> that can't be true. Well, if I have to say, he apparently left his job on good terms. Left his job? Why? He's moving far away. Shocking news for you, I'm sure, but in reality, he's been seeing another woman for years. What? I can't believe this. I suppose so, but he left you to live with that woman. Is this a joke? Nope. He couldn't bring himself to ask for a divorce until now. But... I heard he decided to go through with it after the family trip. Does Theo know? Yes. Dan told him about his intention to divorce. <gasps> Why didn't he tell me? I suppose he couldn't. Perhaps he didn't think you would accept the divorce. But Dan said he plans to pay alimony because it's due to his infidelity. I don't need any alimony. I can't live alone. I don't want a divorce at my age. I understand how you feel, but... Please, Sydney. Please help me and convince Dan. I'm sorry, but I won't take anyone's side. Why not? Because you both have been bullying me for so long. Frankly, I don't feel inclined to help either side. What? What have we done to you? Do you really have no idea? Uh... You've both mistreated me, demanding that I serve the family because I'm a daughter-in-law. But you never truly accepted me as part of the family. Even this time, despite it being a misunderstanding on your part, you claimed to have thrown away my passport, which you always carried with you. It was just a prank. Even if it was a prank, it was too malicious. So, what should I do? I absolutely don't want a divorce. You'll have to leave it to a lawyer from here on. A lawyer? No way. Both Theo and I will cut ties with you. Wait a minute. Well, I have nothing more to say. Sydney! Goodbye. The in-laws got divorced. Dan married his mistress, but after paying alimony to Barbara, he was left with no saving. He now lives in a rundown apartment, struggling to keep afloat. It's far from a happy marriage. Barbara, now alone, has become a recluse, living off the money from the property division and alimony, scraping by day by day. Neighbors who know the situation whisper amongst themselves that they knew it happened eventually. Both Dan and Barbara lament that things didn't turn out as they had hoped, but considering how they mistreated their daughter and bullied their daughter-in-law, they brought this upon themselves. Thank you for watching! Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel! See you in the next video!